remember when you were a kid and you used to doodle on your desk and just hope the teacher didn't catch you? Well, my next guest did exactly that, but now he gets hired by companies to come in and doodle on their walls. I am Jenna Herbert and you're watching Make It TV where I interview creative entrepreneurs who are making a living doing what they love. I am really, really thrilled today because I have Scott Sumi, who is a fantastic artist and got his start in graffiti. So welcome, Scott. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for coming and thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. my pleasure. Uh, so as a kid, drawing on your desk, take us back to that time and like, what, what were you thinking? <laughs> uh, well, that was sort of my earliest memory of um, being creative as an artist. My younger years, I, um, I would find myself infatuated with the sort of urban landscape and um, signage and striking logos. And to me, that was what resonated as art. Um, so yeah, as a kid, I used to you know doodle logos on my desk and um, things like that. I thought it was, yeah, fun. And now you go into companies and help them design their spaces and and, and so how, how did that happen? Yeah, my uh, passion for graffiti art and getting involved with that car culture through skateboarding yeah, led me to an artistic career and um, through that um, you know, trial and error and stuff like that led me to more commercial work and sign painting and that kind of thing and um, yeah, that's kind of my full-time gig now. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, so you've now been a Makey for the past couple of years. We've been so excited to have you and your collective and uh, how, how has that experience been sort of being at a, at a craft show and having your work displayed? Uh, it's a really great learning experience. Sometimes you know I spend a lot of time in my studio creating and then it goes somewhere else and other people enjoy it and you don't often get that time to um, see people passing by your stuff and what they like and what they don't like and I think that's very valuable information. To know? get that feedback. Totally. So what would you tell someone who has an idea and who has that inspiration but maybe are a little bit scared to get their feet wet and dive in? And what would you tell them about uh, where to turn next? Taking your time, um, having patience uh, I think is probably yeah what I would suggest. It's um, in today's day it's very very easy to um, get caught up in, in the hustle and the rush of things and um, but I often find that being patient and actually spending the time to think things through and plan things is is probably the advice I wish I had earlier <laughs> on you know so yeah so so where does it go from here what do you have planned for the future uh, I'm ready to get into painting again so uh, mode. yeah so in February I'm really looking forward to um, uh, gathering inspiration and putting together mood boards for a new series of paintings. Well, we're so excited to have you at Make It this year, Make It yeah. Vancouver. Thank you so much for being my guest today, Scott. Yeah, yeah, no so worries. So much information and it's just great to see someone who's so passionate and who's, you know, doing something maybe a little bit more unconventional, but, you know, creating a fantastic lifestyle for yourself. Sweet, yeah. <laughs> I'm Jenna Herbert, you're watching Make It TV, and if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you share it with your friends. If you have any comments, tips, or ideas of your own, please share them in the comments below. And also, make sure you follow our channel, Make It TV, and I'll see you next time.